Hi viewers, this is Minach Chandra Mansito. Welcome to my channel. You are watching Ganesh Tutorial Mas. Uh, are you all ready to learn? Let me start the class. Uh, in this video, I am going to solve the problem. Example 10, page number 13, chapter 1, 9th standard NCAT max. Clear? Actually, what they given in this problem? Find an irrational number between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. Actually, they given us two numbers. Uh, between these two numbers, we should find out the irrational number. They are asking only one number. So, we should find out the only one irrational number from this number. Clear? Now, it is in a P by Q form. So, it is rational, irrational. That is in a P by Q form. So, it is a rational number. So, between these two rational numbers, we should find out the only one irrational number. Clear? Uh, when we want to find the irrational number between two given numbers, First, you should write in a decimal form of a given numbers. So, 1 by 7 decimal expansion, you can use a normal long division method to find the decimal expansion of a given rational number. So, that is 1 by 7, it means 1 can divide by 7. So, 1 should be inside 7 outside, divisor divided. Then, it is not possible, so I can add a 0 and put a dot and we can add a 0 here. So, 10 m, 1 7 to 7 remaining 3. So, 1, 3. Next, I can add a 0 here. How many 7s are 30? That is 4 7s are 28 remaining 2. Then we should add a 0. Then 2 7s are 14. Remaining 6. Add a 0. Right. 3 5s are 35, 42, 48, 56. So 8 7s are 56. Remaining 4. 40. 5 3s are 35 remaining 5 0 then 7 7 are 49 remaining 1 then again 1 so what we can do add a 0 1 7 are 7 remaining 3 30 4 actually the 1 4 2 7 8 5 7 is repeating again again start with 1 4 so the block of numbers are repeating so the value of this number we can write here 0 point the decimal expansion of this number 0 point 1 4 2 8 5 7 it is repeating right so the decimal expansion is repeating next we can find out the 2 by 7 2 divided by 7 clear one more thing here it is 2 by 7 it means 2 divided by 7 you can go with the long division otherwise the better one it can be written as 2 into 1 by 7, right? 2 by 7 you can write 2 into 1 by 7. Next, 2 we know that 1 by 7 value what it is, we find out now only here what it is 0.142857. Multiply this 2 into the whole decimal number. So, what it is, uh, back side number is multiply. Uh, 2 7s are 14, so 4 remaining 1. 2 5s are 10, 10 plus 1, 11 remaining 1. 2 8s are 16, 16 plus 1 is 17, remaining 1. 2 2s are 4, 4 plus 1 5. Then 2 4s are 8, 1 2s are 2, then dot 2 0 0. Clear? So we find out the number, it is etc. Clear? Any doubt? Clear? Clear? We find out the number. Next, now we know that 1 by 7 decimal expansion, 2 by 7 decimal expansion. So in between these two, we should find out the one irrational number. You can check it now. First number here 0, 0. Second number here 1, here 2. So we couldn't find out the next number in between the number. What is the in between? What is the number should be there in between 1 and 2? It's no number, right? Next, 4, 8. So in between 4 and 8, we know that number 5, 6, 7. So we get a 5. So no problem. Therefore, the irrational number is we can write 0 0.15 double zero double five triple zero double five you can write etc clear clear any doubt actually they give up they asking irrational number so after that all the decimal should be inside only right so it is a decimal number between 1 by 7 2 and 2 by 7 so therefore the irrational number between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7 is this one. Clear? We find out. 
are you all clear actually here the important is the file so after the file you should write any number there is no problem clear after the file you should write write any number there is no problem clear i hope in this video you make clear about the problem thank you for watching my video if it is any doubt you can ask me in a comment thank you